My dear RQ community, as we kick off the 2023-2024 school year, I am reflecting on all that I have learned in my first year as Dean of the College of Arts and Humanities. We have a lot to be proud of. While we are mindful of the challenges ahead, we are being thoughtful about how we take advantage of the opportunities to collaborate in ways that will make the college stronger. I am proud to lead this college of artists, intellectuals, creators, and critical thinkers who study the human experience with a focus on how we have evolved as diverse peoples and how we can advance the public good. Now more than ever, the world needs the arts and humanities for their role in helping us to recognize our interdependence, act with empathy, and create a more just and joyful world. And we are uniquely positioned to do this at the State of Maryland's flagship institution. People all across the United States, and indeed the world, are looking for models and best practices for how we respond to and solve the grand challenges of our time. Threats to democracy, global inequality, climate change, health disparities, censorship, racism, sexism, homophobia, and xenophobia, to name just a few. Our hue is up to the challenge. Our undergraduate and graduate programs are well positioned to address these important issues. While many parts of the nation are turning away from the arts and humanities, the students who choose our majors are convinced of what we contribute to our society. Our students articulate clearly and cogently a vision for our hue that I proudly embrace. Our college uniquely and powerfully prepares students with the essential critical thinking, problem solving, creative and analytical skills that the world so desperately needs. Our students' success is tied to the dedication and exceptional work of our outstanding faculty who cultivate an environment of excellence in scholarship and creative production, as well as academic curiosity. Some recent standout examples include historian Christopher Bonner and English professor Robert Levine, who contributed interviews to the PBS documentary, Becoming Frederick Douglass. Ruth Enid Zambrana became the first and only UMD faculty member to be elected to the National Academy of Medicine. Jared Mezzocchi, who has served as co-director of the Maya Brin Institute for New Performance, won an Obie Award and a Helen Hayes Award. In addition, RU faculty are partnering with colleagues across campus on nine of the recently funded Grand Challenges projects on topics including racial and social justice, education, pandemic preparedness, and ethical technologies. Congratulations to all on these accomplishments. You can read more about recent student and faculty accomplishments in our Year in Review publication. In many ways, our staff are the solid foundation that supports the work of our faculty and students. So we are grateful for each and every one of our staff members. I have been so impressed by their dedication, not only to our RHU community, but also to the wider community of Prince George's County. The RHU Staff Council has sponsored and organized professional development opportunities for RHU staff, and they have raised donations of school supplies, winter clothing, and personal items for Hollywood Elementary School. And I want to thank our alumni and donors, many of whom I have met this past year. We do not take your generosity for granted. I watched scores of alumni return last spring to spend hours with our undergraduate students, inspiring them to think about how their majors can lead them to promising and fulfilling careers. We are also deeply appreciative of all who continue to support the scholarship of our students, faculty, and our programming. I chaired so hard during my first giving day because the leaderboard showed that we had the highest number of givers of any academic unit on campus. Thank you. As a college, we are also proud of our signature programs. 
the Arts for All initiative, which launched in 2021, seeks to boldly and innovatively bring together our artistic strengths at UMD with science and technology fields to collaboratively address social justice issues and tackle grand challenges. It has both grassroots support and a strong endorsement from President Pines and Provost Rice. Craig Kier, who has directed the Maryland Opera Studio since 2014, is the new director of Arts for All. Craig is committed to deepening connections to the entire community and making sure that Arts for All is a tangible source of pride for the university and, of course, for our college. Last year, it was a great joy to host Dionne Warwick and to have our students perform songs from her repertoire. Stay tuned for some exciting Dean's Lecture Series guests this year. It's hard to top Dionne Warwick, but I think you'll be pleased with our future offerings. In the past year, we have laid the groundwork for the new Frederick Douglass Center for Leadership Through the Humanities. Several activities over the past year, including most recently the Maryland Summer Humanities Institute, have expanded our engagement with community partners. Led by Associate Dean for Academic Affairs, Jershon Aviles, the Institute enrolled 20 middle and high school teachers from the region for seminars on topics including how to handle cheating and academic misconduct, teaching about Frederick Douglass, and also teaching about hip hop culture. Building on the university's Fearlessly Forward strategic plan, which was rolled out in 2022, we are launching into a college strategic planning process this academic year to help us to reimagine learning, invest in people and communities, take on grand challenges, and partner for the public good. In tandem with this, we will pursue new ways to unite our community across disciplines through an updated college brand and messaging platform that will energize students and allow us to maximize the synergies of our diverse college. Demonstrating the value of the arts and humanities has never been more urgent. Our experts are called on to comment on issues such as the 50th anniversary of hip hop, the impact of recent Supreme Court decisions, the endurance of racism and anti-Semitism, the rise of AI, and the high stakes of the next presidential election. This context and insight provided by our experts can inform how people take action and in many cases allow people to feel seen and understood. I thank all those who have taken the time to engage with the news media, sharing your passions and knowledge. I encourage you to work with our marketing and communications team and to take advantage of opportunities to increase the visibility for your work and contributions. Our college community is growing and I am so pleased to welcome over 60 new faculty members this fall. There are also several people in new leadership positions in the Dean's Office, as well as new chairs and directors. I extend a warm welcome and congratulations to all, and I'm excited for the new energy, expertise, and ideas that they will bring. We know that our students and their parents are asking us to refine and rethink our academic offerings. So while we will continue to offer our excellent academic programs, we are also committed to creating new interdisciplinary majors. Our recently launched majors and minors are energizing students and providing new inspiration for career pathways that bridge industries. I want us to lean into the intentional act of partnering across our traditional academic silos. I am looking forward to a lively town hall conversation at our RHU Fall Assembly on September 20th on a theme I'm calling the Harmony of Interdisciplinarity. I hope to see you at the assembly if you're a faculty or staff member. If you're a student, I hope to see you at the Next Now Festival in September or at one of the events organized by my beloved undergraduate and graduate advisory boards. And whether you're a faculty, staff, or student, I hope to see you at one of the public lectures that happen all year in the college, or at a performance at the Clarice, our very own world-class performing arts center. It is my honor to serve as your dean. It's been an incredible year, and I'm excited for many more. See you around.